Mr. President, Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain would like to raise our concern at some state's lack of implementation of universal periodic review recommendations. In anticipation of its second cycle midterm report, we would like to highlight the example of Saudi Arabia. In December 2013, a wide range of states submitted 225 recommendations to Saudi Arabia. Since February 2014, when the government accepted fully or partially 189 recommendations, Saudi Arabia has failed to fulfill most of these recommendations, especially those related to executions and the judiciary. Member states made numerous recommendations to Saudi Arabia regarding bringing its judiciary in line with international human rights standards. These recommendations included increasing transparency, ensuring individuals are afforded due process, and prohibiting torture. Saudi Arabia has made little, if any, progress in addressing these concerns. Judges sometimes hold legal proceedings in secret, the government frequently violates defendants' rights to a fair trial, and detainees continue to raise credible allegations of torture and incommunicado detention. Ali al Nimr, Daoud al Marhoun, and Abdullah al Zahar, who were sentenced to death for crimes committed as minors, all credibly alleged they were tortured into confessing. They could be executed at any time. Recommendations regarding the death penalty have gone similarly unaddressed. The government executed 158 persons in 2015. On 2 January 2016, Saudi Arabia executed 47 people in a single day, including nonviolent offenders like social justice and human rights activist Sheikh Nimr al Nimr. Despite acceding to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, Saudi Arabia continues to issue the death sentence for crimes committed by minors. We therefore call on all states, including the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, to work diligently to fully implement all UPR recommendations, and in the spirit of transparency, to issue midterm reports to this council that address the current implementation status of their UPR recommendations. Thank you.